Hello, I'm Sam Hewan and uh, welcome to Eden Court in Inverness, here for the Scottish premiere of Emulsion, um, a film by Suki Singh, written and directed by him. Um, really excited we're here for the first time. Uh, this is one of my first uh, leading roles in a feature film, so delighted to, that it's actually made its way here to Scotland and uh, really pleased that all these people have come to, to support us. Um, we've got people that have flown in from Los Angeles, from, from London, from Spain, from Canada. Um, for those of you that obviously aren't here with us, watch this reel, you'll be able to see some reaction to the film um, and hear Suki talk about it as well. And uh, let's go see the movie. Oh, is that why it didn't come off? <laughs> Welcome to Inverness. <laughs> Tell me when. When? When? I was like, oh. <laughs> Tell me when means don't even start. Would you like coconut? Uh, no, I'll have it straight. Thank you very much. Are you having one as well? Do you want a coke? I'll put Do you want me hold? Cheers. Slang of ass. Slang of ass. Today. That's good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good uh, Ronnie sized glass of whiskey. What's going on here then? Well, I've met these lovely ladies that have come to see your movie, Suki. And uh, <laughs> he doesn't drink. Yes, I know! So, uh, so uh, I guess I've got his Yeah, I've got his one. Are you the London movie? Yeah, yeah we met with Angela. The last lady that's come all the way from Madrid to see your film from is Penny. Wow. Come all the way from Madrid. Hello. I'm She's Crazier than we are. That's incredible. Come, so, let's see the hug. Let's see the hug. Uh, Monday. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Here we go. You didn't come to this. I mean, I was actually in Scotland before, but she was Are you? Yeah, I'm from the South. I'm from the South. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many. It's amazing. I love Brazil. Go to Rio. Yeah. But this Rio. Where is Rio? Yeah. 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 This, this person here flew from Germany. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Marie Louise. Marie Louise came all the way from Germany. Um, she lives in Canada as well. It's amazing. That's a bit close. That's a wide angle lens. That's very close. <laughs>
Canada. She did. Last night, I had a dream. Why are you always dressed like that anyway? Because these are my clothes. Why the gloves? It's not like it's cold in here. Where are you cold? I'm not cold. Should get out more. Release the pressure. Time to read what you're so really. You know it is. We dreams go to live and die. Coming. Thanks to Eden Court for putting this on. I'm delighted that this is being shown in Scotland and, and even more so that we've got so many people that are coming to see this to the film. Uh, Suki was a joy to work with. I'm not going to ramble on here. Um, let me know what you think of the movie. And, uh, enjoy. Thank you, Suki. You're going to put the camera down now. <laughs> You're going to be sitting here, Suki, as soon as you stop pretending you're playing with your camera. <laughs> Hope so. Um, so, Sam, I guess, um, how did, regarding the film, how did you get involved with the film? Was the uh, audition process? Did you know Suki anyway? or? Yeah, it was uh, pretty much a sort of uh, regular audition process. You know, we got sent the script through Gillian. Uh, as Suki kind of said at the start, we, um, I was auditioning for Billy, the character that Lex Shrapnel plays. Um, Lex is fantastic and uh, I, I love working with him but he um, yeah initially I went in for that part and they fortunately they called me back they saw something that they, they liked I, I have no idea what that was but uh, I got called back to, to audition for it and um, I was just delighted like the script was you know it's it's really moody the character was you know I mean so complex I mean there's so many stories and little stories mm. and, and things in it so it was uh, yeah, it was a real challenge. And then I looked at Suki's work and uh, he's done some amazing, um, beautifully shot things. There's one called Blow Up. It's a, actually an, an advert he did. I think it's for Diesel Jeans, I think. But it's this amazing it's kind of cool. punk, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it's like quite kind of punk, kind of as this strange Asian cowboy that goes to a, a brothel with a blow up doll. And uh, without giving away the end, he... <laughs> He sort of gets it on with the blow-up doll and, and they exchange places. It's really strange. But I was just like, I was totally hooked as soon as I saw it. It just looked fantastic. So it was the, the, the style of his filmmaking that kind of drew you into it. In there. Absolutely, yeah. Um, what was the process of making the film like? Are you a, are you method or do you just act, as Lawrence Olivier would say? Um, 
Uh, wow. Uh, well, the uh, yeah, the style it's quite was immersive film. So it, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it took me several readings and even still several viewings of the film to understand it totally. You know, there's uh, and I think you could watch it again and still. You know, there's there's so much going on, but Tiki has all these layers. But I was, we just felt so. I felt so comfortable with him, and um, he guided me through it. And it was kind of it kind of was the kind of living the part of Ronnie because. You know, we went down to Bournemouth and we were staying in this hotel there and it was kind of wearing those clothes every day and going to set every day and it, it seemed sort of repetitive and that was his process, Ronnie, of each day he went through this routine of watching the, the film and trying to work out who he was and um, and then so later on when we find the other twist, which I, I'm not allowed to talk about too much, uh, but that was interesting because we, we sort of filmed that later on in the process so by the time we actually got to that part it was it was so nice to have a change and suddenly go oh wow this there's another side to this character but um yeah there's so many levels in in it and uh, it was kind of fun to play those like what is ronnie who is he is he you i wanted people to think that maybe he had several um lives that he may have lived like there are other things going on and hmm. maybe he killed someone maybe he didn't maybe he you know you don't it's all am ambiguous is what i'm yeah. trying to say uh suki's still playing with his camera yes he he's he's going to join us at some point please please come and join us suki you're the you're the main he's uh, he's done a good job i think uh, of, of getting everyone here and uh, getting this on so so was that the process like with the other actors and the cast and the crew i'm guessing because the uh, the budget wasn't too high, I guess, was all kind of everyone mucking in together, working harder than perhaps you might otherwise? Yeah, I mean, I think this is the... Was there a kind of bond created between everyone during the filming? Uh, absolutely, yeah. The, this style of filmmaking is is, is is wonderful because, you know, it, it doesn't have the, the biggest budget. Suki, mm. I'm sure, will tell you that he, um, you know, he wrote it, he directed it, he produced it. Um, Karen, his wife, did the catering. Uh, you, you know, like everyone sort of mucked in and... Um, in that, there's actually a lot of freedom as well. Mm. You know, you don't have sort of heads or producers or people breathing down your breathing neck, down your so, neck. You can, so you can and you can yeah. chop and change. And so on set, you know, Suki and I would be, you know, talking and we'd cut things or he'd give me a new line or we'd just we'd constantly be changing stuff. And you could also, it's kind of like guerrilla filmmaking. You can literally stop somewhere and you're supposed to have a license, but never mind, just jump out and film something and, and get off before the police come or something. So it's a, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, it's kind of um, it's exciting to be part of that. And you do you. You, because you're working together in a small community. I mean, we had a lot of new graduates from film schools, from from universities that you know trying to get credits. Um, a lot of them, it was their first time. This is my first time doing a, you know, a feature. So it was, you know, it's a learning curve for everyone. And uh, and I think you know, watching that. I mean, I was sort of going, God, I do that so differently now. But it's it's wonderful to to be able to to give the freedom to to experiment. And, and I think it, it was really good fun. So was there a lot of experimentation on set or was Suki quite dictatorial? He, he's... Do everything my way. Yeah, he's, 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 he's like Michael Bay, you know? He's just, uh, he wants it his way. No, not at all. No, he's very, uh, he's very you know, very, he's so chilled as, as you can tell and um, doesn't really care about, you know, the fact that we're doing a Q&A. He'd rather <laughs> play with his camera. So, and he was kind of like that on set. He'd be like, oh, I've seen something really cool. Come over here and he'll, be filming that and he's just got a real eye I think you know and I I mean it's got this this pace to the film and it is very slow and it's not like films these days you know it's this noir feel to it but I think the, the shots are so beautiful that I don't mind if there's a lingering shot of a a garage you know car park light I think it looks great and I want to see yeah. more of it I guess there's a lot of films these days are cut 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 but kind of longer shots I think gives you more freedom to explore the terrain that you're within because it's not just the actors but it's the uh, location of where you are and yeah I mean I think even the car park I mean mm. I didn't realize it plays such a large character in the film it's like this place it's like it's almost like his mind it's sort of contained and there's something he can deal with it every day but there's also the outskirts of that where where the character the end goes you know it's like mm. where is that uh, other world um, and then there's this whole thing about dreams or about film and it's uh, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I do remember, because we also started off shooting, um, the first week was all night shoots in the garage. So we wouldn't start filming till six, seven at night, and you'd be finishing at four or five in the morning. And uh, so your whole life kind of went the other way. And 
I remember we were filming and the shots looking out of the garage and there'd be the dawn chorus and the birds start to sing and you kind of, we all started living this really weird reality and that really on the helped. night shift. Yeah, yeah, on the night shift. And I think that's always happens in night shoots. You kind of, you enter this kind of strange dreamlike state. Yeah. I have to admit if it was me playing the part with the hat and the long coat, I'd be, I'd have a Humphrey Bogart monologue running through my head for the whole film. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Did you have that kind of offset kind of leaning places? And yeah, I, I mean, it's like quite, I, quite iconic that, mm. you know, the trench coat and the heterobi and the, the gloves. But I think, and you, you kind of have to make a jump with this film. I think, you know, you have to go, you know, mm. we know what this, we've seen that, but it's, I think if you, you let those things go, you know, you, you get dragged in by the story and what's going on. And, and I think um, it was just a joy to wear those things every day, you know, like most films these days, you know, you're in a suit or, a, you mm. know, like um, something really, really boring. And uh, here we've got a nice, nice trilby to play with. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I just want to say what I thought a really good soundtrack there was to the movie. Soundtracks are often overlooked. And I know Suki mentioned about his uh, love of David Lynch, and I really thought that uh, at times there were real sort of Angelo Badalamenti sort of influences in, uh, in the soundtrack, and uh, I loved it. Hi, I've come to see Emulsion, and I thought the movie was very interesting. I didn't know what to expect. Um, I really like the use of red. I think that maybe you use red as a color to brighten up the otherwise dark colors in the movie. Um, I thought the sets were really interesting, um, acting was obviously fantastic, and the story was very interesting and I had no idea what it was going to be at all, and I was kept guessing the whole movie. So where have you come from? I've come from Germany, but I'm from Canada. And did you just came for the weekend? Or you for just, yeah, I just came for the weekend to see the movie. Yeah, <laughs> and to go to Burns tonight tomorrow. And um, was it good to meet Seth? Of course, yeah, it was wonderful, and to meet you as well. We're from Fort William, and we came to this an excellent film. So I have a question about the film, and a bit that I really didn't understand towards the end. I'm Gillian, I'm from Fort William. How did the go for you? I really enjoyed it. I um, I never liked multi-story car parts, and that's just confirmed it for me. I'm from Scarborough on Severn, England, but I'm from Portland, Oregon originally. Um, so, yep, I came here to Inverness to see Emotion and to meet you. Oh, it, it was, it was. I couldn't figure out exactly what was going to happen until the very end. So, if that's what you were going for, it was perfect. Um, it was quite surreal. It was like like a dream that the pieces just didn't fit together, and then all of a sudden at the end you made it um, all the things tied in together. So it was it was quite good. It kept my interest the whole way through. Oh, I thought it was fantastic. It was really good. Um, filmed beautifully as well, and I think it went at the right, right pace. Right pace, right pace to film. Like it, the plots as well, and how everything kind of intertwined and. Um, the different like metaphors throughout it as well with like time and I don't know, it's just I really enjoyed it. Is this a photo or a video? Video. A video! I'm like, I don't know what's going on now. You, you keep doing that. How did the screening go I thought it went really well. The crowd seemed receptive. I thought it was amazing. The music especially was really good and very well played within it and placed into it. Um the colour changes were really interesting. I liked that sort of cue in because you knew something was going on but you weren't quite sure what until you saw the ending but no I thought it was great it's good think Sam did? I think Sam did very well good. He's, he's in it a lot he? he is he is in it a lot a funny thing about that I, I think we were all quite pleased with that right yeah. <laughs> um, no the hat he rocked the hat and the gloves <laughs> terrific costuming as well and photography and cameras and stuff is great really enjoyable <laughs> Yeah, the emotion screening went really well. It was uh, my third time to see the film, and uh, I think I now understand all of it. But I think it takes three times to see it to really get everything to really understand where it, how it all fits in. So tell me about today. There's a lot of fans. And a lot of yeah, a lot of fans. There's about 40 of us here that I know of that we that we organized. Um, come up today, plus there were additional ones that I've not met before. So yeah, it's a really good group, everyone's really enthusiastic, having a good time, glad you could do the Q&A, and it's great to see um, you and Sam, and to have a bit of time with everybody, I think everybody's really appreciated it, and had a great time, been really good.
Hello. Talk to phone. How was it? Speeding car? I liked it. Yeah. yeah, I did. It was different than what I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. And um, where did you come from? I'm a Mar from Arkansas originally. Wow. I live in Bristol now. So you flew from Bristol to the movie? Yeah, me and my friends. Yeah. What, did you like the look of your film? I did. I liked the, the photography especially. And, and costumes were good. Uh, we like to talk to Terry about costuming. So I know to look for all that. She's taught us a lot. So. Yeah, I came from Spain to see the movie. Because I was curious about it. I wanted to see what happened in it. I had heard some comments and it was very promising. So I came to see it. Was it a bit different from the other film? Yeah, yeah, because I liked the rhythm. It was always the same, but it kept you there. You didn't get distracted at any moment. I like the, the background noises, the music it was very good. And the photography, the close-up. I really, really like that. Um, I'm from South Carolina in the States, uh, but I'm studying in London. Um, so, how did you make the motion? What did you think? I thought the film was really good. Um, just, I, I thought it was great that there was like a, you knew something was wrong, but you didn't know what was wrong. And I think that's really hard to do well. Uh, and, and the music, like the music set to the scenes was like, Perfect choice, perfect timing. I just, I and I, I don't watch movies with that style very often, like how the film um, like. Yes. Um, and it was just, it was really good. And I'm gonna look out for more of your work. So thank you. Um, I'm from Ottawa, Canada. I came to see Emotion with Sam Yuhin. And uh, it was fantastic. It was absolutely worth uh, the long plane ride and the problem with the airlines to be here. Um, it's, it was great to see the movie uh, because I find with all the digital stuff that we see nowadays, you kind of forget that um, filming movies is an art form. And we actually saw that in, in the movie. I really like the use of the color red throughout the movie. Kind of intrigued. I'll have to find a way to see it again now to understand more of what I... Uh, we, I saw tonight, so thank you so much. So you're a big fan of Sam. I it am. Sam's a lot in this film. Yes. Are you used to his sort of uh, light and dark characters there? Um, I found that really intriguing. It's interesting to see someone being able to um, switch from um, being this seemingly good person to all of a sudden being almost like evil and you're not quite sure where he's, what he's really doing. Is he actually killing people in it? <laughs> um, or is he really good? It was very, very uh, the ambiguity of the, the story was really intriguing to me. So why did you come all this way? Then? Um, for the movie, uh, for Sam, and for the, my friends that I've met in Scotland. Um, uh, so I tried to explain to the border <laughs> services guy um, uh, it was going to be a, a girls' weekend. So instead of being in Canada, it was in Scotland. So it's, you know, you only live once, and it's absolutely worth it. I'm glad I came. When we went to Pizza Express, one of the waitresses, she recognised our teacher, we were all there with our teacher, and she said, oh, I read the books, and she didn't know if you were here tonight for the film, and she didn't know that Sam was here, and my husband had a lung infection, so he wasn't able to come, so we said, so we've got a free ticket, ask your boss if he'll give you the night off, because there she was working, serving us all, and he said, yeah, and we all went, where do we go, girls, and we went, way! And that was it, and she came with us tonight. Wow, she's got the pizza girl here. Yeah, from Pizza Express. <laughs> Hi, Sam! Is he still in? Is she there? Thank you. See you later, mate. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming all this way. No, thank you. It was really good fun. And uh, as you can see, I think the party's going on for a long time. Film went down well. Q&A especially, because you weren't there. <laughs> it was good. Thanks so, for coming all this way. It's been an absolute pleasure. Until the next one. Thanks, mate. Don't forget us. Mate, good luck Don't at the dance. Us. Don't forget us. Bye, Sam. Yeah, mate. There he goes.
I was just admiring your splendid suit. I was <laughs> Cut it. Cut there. Cut it. 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 Going in the way of your eyes. And cut it. Cut it. I'm supposed to have windows missing. Okay. Do we cut? Sorry, guys. Wouldn't have my torch, would I? No, not for this one. Oh, okay. I'll sing if you see. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> cut there. <laughs> cut there. <laughs> this is. Take one. 